Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Mad Capper and this is another video on Watcher of Realms. Today we're going to go back into the world of exclusive artifacts. You can see we're on the test server and that means testing out another champion and another exclusive artifact to see whether or not they're really worth and make an impact in this game. In the last video we took a look at Hex and Man O' Man could be the best artifact, exclusive artifact, maybe best artifact for champion artifact pairing, I guess best way to put it, in the game. This one, been hearing reports a little bit of the opposite effect, so we're going to take a look at it. Without further ado, why don't we take a look at Zilla 2 and her exclusive artifact. Okay, so here we are. We're going to do a baseline, so I did switch out her artifact to the realm tier. It is a max realm tier. It's giving the 8% increased damage for every tile beyond the first, which I believe is what she's going to get is 8% on the guild boss. Let me know in the comments down below if that is the wrong number. My understanding is you put her in the back, put her as far back as you can in the guild boss. She is getting that 8%. I've heard some people say she's it's actually two tiles, but I'm going to say it's one tile beyond the first. So I'm going to say it's an 8% damage there. Uh, her gear hasn't changed, but of course her overall numbers have. So you're at 16,532 at 384 over crit cap 1.5 second. So, uh, and we're going to make sure that we use the alt only on the shield. And then of course it'll run through the vulnerability state. We want to look for three, for several things. What is her base damage? What is her alt damage? What is her vulnerable alt damage? When the once the shield's been broken what's the burning damage and the burning time what time is the burning getting we can get that by the last time she applies burn and we're just going to count it it's not going to be a tech it's not going to be a technical uh stopwatch thing it's just i'm just going to give it a, a one one thousand or one two three right so it'll be a roundabout so we just want to make sure everything's on the up and up and up we're going to do play test uh because i don't want to run too many of these and i only have 486 keys so we got to I got to make sure that I keep a proper number of keys. So this is with the realm tier. So this is the default and we're going to put her down first. So she's that one tile away. Boom. And then we're going to put her there and then here we go. So her base damage is 5663, 5663 base. And that's phase one. Cause I believe uh, defense drops between the four phases. Uh, on the dragon. This is with realm tier 25. Okay. And that's going to be pretty standard. That's the only damage she's going to do until we get to her, the alt phase. Um, and we might just go through the alt, through the vulnerability till the end of her, uh, and then we'll stop there because the speeds and everything else are going to stay the same throughout these tests, right? So there we go, we pop the alt. Now she's hitting 207. 207 and then 363111 on the thing. And you see the burning is doing 11810. I missed that. We're going to say it's 208k on the shield and vulnerable 363. Uh we're going to just round it to that. So we so and then we see 207 now when he's back up in phase two. Uh, you see, I just want to wait till all ends. And one, two, three, four, five. It feels like six seconds. It's supposed to be five, but it feels like six. Okay, so there's so there's our first one. We're going to quit the battle. We're going to change to our exclusive. Exclusive. And this is at 10. So again, we have the base of 5663, the shield of 208k, the vulnerable at 363, and the um, the burning at 11,800, 11, okay? So now, let's challenge it again, but we'll swap her out here. Go to that artifact. Replace. Okay, now again, this should increase the duration of burning by three seconds and should do 20%, deals 20% more damage to targets inflicted with burning. So she should do 20% more damage, not eight, 
uh, but 20% more damage when they're inflicted, inflicted with burning. So what we should see is we should see a lower base, a higher shield, and a higher vulnerability damage. And then arguably, if she's dealing 20% more, her burn should do 20% more. Don't know how that works. Because how would you just determine it's her burn versus another one? I'm not too sure. So let's give this a go. And then what we'll do is we'll pop that exclusive up to maximum and we'll see the difference there. And we'll, we'll do this test one more time. Okay, we're gonna drop her in that position, drop her there. And her base is 38,966, 38,966. So that's a, that is a considerable drop. That goes from uh, like basically 12K, 11 and a half, 12K. Uh, difference in damage but will that be made up in the in the vulner or in the uh the alt phase once he goes for shield and vulnerability we'll find out and what will the burning do because i want to see if that burning gets that 20 percent lift as well keeping in mind that there's there's two things going on here and i think i, I just want to mention this before uh we we start getting these new numbers uh, this is an exclusive at 10, which means you're also getting higher attack stat because you get base attack and HP from the artifact itself. So some of this damage boost is just because she has higher attack and some of it's going to be because the realm tiers 8% damage is active where this is actually right now, her exclusive is doing nothing for her. Okay. Now we're going to pop that alt. And what, oh, guy can't see it because he's lifting his head. It's, oh my God, it's 193, I think, 193K. And now she's, he's, she's doing 335K. And the burning is doing 53. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on here. 191, sorry, 191K. Um, we get to see it that one moment in the head pop, right, right there. 3422 without vulnerability. I need to I need to I need to check this one more time. We need to we, I sorry. I have to go back to the other I want to make sure I have the right numbers here. I feel like this is not right. I should probably just edit it out, but this is this will this will be fine. It's fine. I got to see that burning again. Because I, did I did I misread that? Why is the burning going four times as, as hard in the paint. It doesn't say anything about that. We're not changing anything there. It's so weird. Like, it's so weird. It's literally so weird. So again, you're 1497, 10, 4. So you're getting... 445 uh sorry 450 450 extra attack that's not, not nothing that's a decent bit of extra attack the hp shouldn't mean anything so the difference between the realm tier and the blaze is 450 attack plus 8 or 16 percent damage i guess we could do the we could do the math what's 38966 times 1.08 would be 42 and we're getting 50 so that means it's 16 percent right because now we go 38966 times 1.16 is 45 200 and then you add 450 attack that actually increases the multipliers etc etc is it even 24 percent 30 38 nine six six times one point two four forty eight i gotta be honest with you i think this i think the realm tier is getting 24 percent extra damage because the 450 attack though not nothing is well you know what i'm jumping ahead of myself we can we know we know what to i know what to do um, but first I just want to double check the stat, the numbers with the realm tier. And then, uh, when we get to the max level, 
When she's not running her alt, her exclusive should give us that base damage. And the difference between the two is that whatever the realm tier's damage multiplier is. So that'll be an easier way than trying to do whatever whatever math I was attempting to do there. So let's put them down one more time. Uh, so far, what I got to tell you is that her exclusive in this scenario may not be good. But we are going to give a bonus scenario because I think there is an opportunity for where she will be good, and we'll explore that momentarily. Of course, we have to get to the shield. So again, 5663, that is definitely the number. Which is definitely a lot higher. Um, I wonder, I wonder if the realm, I mean, we got to, you know what, I'm going to have to do a realm tier video uh, on guild boss. Because I feel like maybe it has to do with whatever damage the, whatever she has is her. To, so there she's doing 207, right? 207, 319. So I said 208, it should be 207 to be fair. And then 363, 46. So I don't know where I got that 11. It's 40, 46059. 46059. So interestingly enough, she's doing more damage, but her burns aren't because her burns aren't being multiplied. Her burns are just strict burns. There you got 26319 because those are burns. So that is okay. So what you're getting is you're getting that 20% extra damage on the burn as well. Um and one thing we didn't check, but I'll tell you from a previous one. Uh, it appears as if you're not getting an extension. Let's do. Let's just do this right here. Uh, I do need to go to the, the the top exclusive artifact here, so we'll just we'll do the exclusive. But I'll show you in my previous in my first round of testing, which I didn't record. Um, it was not giving that three second extra burn, but we'll we'll know for sure because we can promote and we can count it this time because I forgot to count it with all of you. So let's promote this uh, beautiful exclusive artifact because I think that's important, right? Because that burning is what gives her extra damage even longer. And if you're using things like Laurel and you're able to uh, extend the burn and extend... And it looks like, yeah, it's a three seconds no matter what. It's just how much extra damage you're getting, which is nice. And then we're also erasing that that extra attack that uh, that the Realm Tier is giving because of its level. Promote one more time. So that means we'll be able to see true base. So exclusive, we'll put this one, exclusive... 25 and we'll get those numbers which i'm excited okay so now we're max level it's a 30 percent instead of a 20 so you get 10 extra percent at max level it's gonna be hard to get max level uh those baubles are not easy to get i've only ever seen one in my entire uh global server gameplay which is now nine months i think i've only ever seen one i've seen more awakening Bobbles then exclude then artifact bobbles. Just take that as it will. Okay, and I believe I used mine on someone. Oh, I used my. Remember, I, I used. We just saw it. I used it. That was the one. I used it on Hex. Maybe I've seen two. Then maybe I've seen two because I feel like I got one like months ago through one of the events or something. But so two in nine months, and I've seen three uh, awakening bobbles in that same period of time. Just. FYI. Uh, okay, so now we have her at thir at full blast. Let's start this. Uh, we want to see does her does her burn last for three seconds extra, which only matters. Keep in mind that only matters on the last hit because she's reapplying burn every single time. I guess you could argue if there's multiple enemies, it's doing it that way. But uh, here we go, and here we go. What's her base now? Forty four fifty one. Forty four five one. That's significant. We will now also be able to tell you what realm tier is doing. Because uh, 40, 
four five one versus fifty six six three. Now apples to apples on level. That's significant. Okay, but I'm really curious to see because uh, the burn's gonna get thirty percent extra on burn. That could that could really even the playing field when you think for thirty five seconds on a one point five second uh, attack ratio. Interesting is what I have to say. All right, so now we're going, and now we're getting 215. Oh, my God, 215. 215, and now she's hitting for 376. 376, okay. And her burns are hitting for 59868. 59868. That's pretty significant. 215, right? We saw that 215 versus 207. Okay. And now let's wait for her last reset. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. That is not eight seconds. I, I'm, that is obviously, um, six, it seems like six seconds. Uh, I'm not doing it with a, with a stopwatch. So you can argue. But I'll tell you, um, that's not eight seconds. I don't care how you count. That is not eight seconds. Do I need, I'm going to make a stopwatch here. I'm going to make a stopwatch on my phone, right? And we're going to, I'm going to, we're going to try this again. Because I feel like we're getting bamboozled here. So let's start. The best thing we can do it as soon as they're alts available, we can do this test. We don't need to wait. And as a bonus, I'm going to tell you what the realm tier damage is. It might be based on her on her distance. She might be throwing to the end of her distance, which is interesting. By the way, don't have uh, inspiration set, so she's not getting any extra bonus there. Just by the way. Yeah, it's a 215 and change. I don't know why she's only getting 8,000 on the burn suddenly. Like, why is that 8,000 instead of 30? I don't know. That seems to be a bug as well. She should be getting more than 8K on that burn. Is this defense that much higher? Then it just doesn't bounce back after? Who knows? 8. That's five that's five point seven five point seven seconds. I missed on the <clears throat> It's hard to see when that last one goes, but that's definitely about five seconds. So she is not getting an extra three seconds. The uh the exclusive artifact is broken. Uh, I'll I'll put that on to the devs. I don't know so because obviously there's an issue there. So that's one issue. That three I've got at one point five seconds. That's two extra hits. That's fifty uh, what is it? 4451 versus 215K. Uh, so that's pretty crazy. Now, the other thing I said I wanted to, to figure out here is the calculator. Um, and that is 4451. If I multiply that by 1.28, I get 51777. So that's not it. If I take 4451 times 24, 1.24, it's 5159. I mean, there, something's lost in the translation of how things are applied, but it looks like the realm tier is giving a 24% damage bonus. So there you go, 24% damage bonus. I guess... Um, you can probably do the math based on range. Uh, she's doing 10k extra damage every hit outside of her alt with realm tier based on 24% damage. 
which is a three tile. That's that's her extended. By the way, keep that. That's her extended number. I'm gonna do a realm tier video because I feel like in the guild boss, it's giving you whatever the length of your champion. Because remember, it's past the first tile. She's got a four tile distance. She's getting that. So that's three tiles past the first one. That's 24%. That's the bonus damage she's getting. It's it's the math is all right here. Now, when we go into ultimate, the realm tier is doing 207k damage to a vulnerable sh but not fully vulnerable uh, dragon. So that's when the dragon's dragon's got his shield up, or after his vulnerability state ends at the very end. Also the same number, 207k. Uh, a level 10 exclusive artifacts only doing 191. So it's doing less damage than a fully developed uh, realm tier. So, and you can probably do the math there as well. Uh, if they're both at level 10, um, then maybe you're going to see a little bit, uh, you're probably going to see a bump of about 5% on the exclusive. Now, the vulnerability state, so that's when the dragon is is knocked out or whatever, that you're going to see 363,000 from the realm tier versus 335 for the exclusive at 10, so a level 1 exclusive. And then you're going to see 376k versus the 363 when the exclusive is at its max. So for 35 seconds times whatever or divided by whatever your uh whatever your uh hit frequency is is going to be your DPS. So every 1.5 seconds I'm doing an extra 13,000 damage with the exclusive artifact for 35 seconds which is the length of her alt. Now you can include Okay, what does that mean for Laurel? What does that mean? Like, there's a lot of other factors there because if you can multiply the alt, then the exclusive artifact is going to do more for even more of the fight. And the other scenario, which uh, I think is important to remember, is that the burns also get multiplied. So you're doing 46,000 at a vulnerability state. Uh, it's in. It's certainly less in the in the shielded state and even less in the phase state state when when it's just normal him um but that went from 46 to 53 for the exclusive 10 from the realm tier to the exclusive at level one so level 10 like a level one exclusive i don't know why there's so many different levels uh is 46 to 53 on the burn per tick um which is a which is essentially a 35 which is essentially a 35 second tick, which is actually a 40 second because she's going to apply it on her first hit on the ultimate. She's going to apply, reapply it throughout the ultimate plus five seconds after should be eight. It's broken. And then if it's an exclusive at level 25, which I think is a rank five, then it's 59, almost say 60 K 60 K alt. So you're going from 46 to 60 each tick. That's a not insignificant amount of extra damage on the burning uh if the champ the, the who you're up against can burn right so that's a key factor uh the other thing to think about is the exclusive there is a version where tick damage is important i don't remember which immortal codex that is but obviously this exclusive is giving you uh bigger tick damage so is that a, is that something important to consider as well I'll leave it to you. So there you go. There's the numbers. Now there's one more thing I want to test because I, I need to see now that we have the numbers here, we're going to add a burn champion to the mix. All right, we're back for one final test. This, you can see we've added a champion. We're adding Micah. Why are we adding Micah? Because I believe, let me know in the comments down below. Micah is one of the best opportunities to land burn. So blazing plume every fourth attack will hit a, uh, who cares about the damage, but inflicts burning for five seconds. So now she's now they've got the burning. I want to see whether or not that actually increases the damage from the exclusive on Zilla 2. And then, uh, and then we'll see if that's the case. We have her built. She's not built for damage. I mean, she's got some damage. Don't get me wrong. But I primarily built her with speed. 565 attack speed just so we can get as many base attacks as possible the more base attacks the better because that's going to give us the uh the chance that that'll be up it's almost up perfectly it's it's 0.9 seconds so she's going to be attacking uh within that five seconds she should be renewing burn and burn should be up 100 of the time 
with her in the group. And if that's the case, then that, if it works this way, should give uh, an ex considerable damage boost to our uh, Zilla 2 100% of the time. Whether that do the burning stack in her, her in the bonus damage, I don't think so. But let's put them both down here. Uh, we can put you. I mean, I guess I don't know why I'm really. It doesn't really matter. Um, so we're gonna two, three, fourth one. There's the burn, and now she's doing. It's so hard to see. <laughs> I we did we forgot how much there's there's burning damage. There's ten. There's fifty two, five seventy nine. Which is weird because it looks like Zilla 2's exclusive is hitting even harder than otherwise. Is that right? I don't know how that's even possible. So she was at... There's two things we want to test. We want to test her when we pop her ultimate too. But I see 52. I see 27. Uh, I assume that 52 is coming from Zilla 2. I don't know why it's 52 this time. Now we, we put her ultimate up. She's at 215, so that's the same. So that's just, there's two burning, right? But you're not getting uh, you're not getting anything more. It is hitting 376. I can see the 376 in there. The one burn's hitting for 47. The other one's hitting for 50 something. So uh, even though you have multiple burn stacks. Which means you can you can pretty much run their ultimates because the burning will up, and that's going to help her damage. By the way, so these two are a nice pairing, actually. In fact, in that their burning creates these extra damage uh, opportunities for themselves. Uh, it's really unfortunately, uh, I don't know why she's doing the she was doing the fifty. Let's restart that. She did forty four fifty one damage by herself. With the burning, she should be doing different. So we can actually, uh, we can give a few seconds here just to see it. 40, 451. Now we add her and wait to that 40, 451 and 19, 40 and 21. And that's because she doesn't have 100% crit, I think. We'll put the heel down. And now it's 52, 579. Which is higher than the 5663. So, okay, that works. So, that's now at 52k. So, yeah. So, as long as you can keep that burning up. And as you can see here, that burning will never go down as long as you have enough speed on your mica. So, we've got 100% uptime on burning. Which is going to give the exclusive artifact 100% more damage all the time. It's giving 2k extra per hit on base. It's giving, uh, obviously, that... Uh, 8k more on shield and it's giving uh, by shield I mean when I, we do the ultimate against this moment here which is going to do 215 and in vulnerability 376 that doesn't change plus the burning her burning is getting uh, more damage but uh, the other burning you can see here um, I wonder if you see did you see that re-trigger there? When they were both at the same time, they had the same timer. So you're definitely not getting that extra three seconds. That is 100% for sure. See, that should be lasting for eight seconds. If I were to pop her here, the, hers is five seconds. Oh, it removes as soon as she's gone. That's interesting, too. The burn doesn't persist as long as she's not on the on the field, which I don't know why that would happen. A burn is... It stopped burning because the pyro left. That makes no sense here. Okay, so uh, interesting. Interesting. Let me, uh, let's go to some final thoughts and perspective. We'll talk about Zilla 2. We'll talk about the artifact. We'll talk about scenarios where it's better, scenarios where it's worse, and kind of my final thoughts. Well, the Blaze of Takil, is it good? Is it bad? It's a little bit more nuanced than Hex. Hex is, you got it, you use it, it's better. It's just objectively better. This one has a lot more nuance. What we have to consider is, first off, the chance of getting a level 25, a full level, I think it's level 6, right? Level 6 artifact or a level 25, I don't know, why, why do we get to have both? A 25 of 25 level 6 artifact is 
going to be very difficult to achieve on any exclusive artifact in any period of time. In the time that it's been around, I believe on my main account, I have two at 16, which is the first exclusive artifact that was made available to us in Global Server, Server which is Cetrum. I have his at 16, and because I have Hex, I believe I have his at 13. I feel I have one other at 16. So that's in the amount of time it's been around. And I've been doing Nightmare, I think, since the second week that it was available. So I've had I've had the opportunity to, to build out these exclusive artifacts. I'm not getting anywhere near. And then to say I have to get hers to 25. So from that perspective, it becomes a little bit interesting because you're looking at significantly lower damage throughout. And so for me, if you can get a level 25 realm tier, which is going to give you 24% extra damage. Remember, it's past the first tile. You see she's got she's got that four tiles herself and three more. So that's one, two, three. That's 24% extra damage on every hit with the realm tier versus this sometimes 100% damage. Now, if you're not doing guild boss, keep in mind, the closer those enemies get to you, the less damage it does. It does 16, 8, and 0 when it's right on top of you. So you have to keep that in mind. Please bear in mind that these are that the realm tier is not linear. But you could argue, for example, you can use the Wailing Skull on her and see what kind of damage that does when it includes uh, popping up uh, a, a doppelganger of her that's going to do 150% her stats worth of damage. And that can be quite significant. So to me, we can't even compare the realm tier the maxed out to the maxed out exclusive because the the reality you can't buy your way into the exclusive either uh so i mean i guess technically you can but there's not a whole lot in the shop that allows you to do that so what you're looking at is maybe a 13 maybe a 16 and you're going from 20 to 30 so and i don't think it's linear i feel like it's uh is it maybe it is linear two percent per so you're looking at you know 22 24% damage on the exclusive most likely in your time and objectively that's just going to do less damage in the guild boss at all stages no matter what however if you are to max out her exclusive then it gets a bit more interesting then you look at her doing less damage under standard conditions but more damage under her alt and significantly more damage when you include the burn, which she is getting, you know, up to 60 from 46 up to 60k additional damage uh, with a maxed out exclusive artifact on the burn, plus an extra 13k in the vulnerable state for the boss. And there's different bosses have different things where that's going to matter, uh, but significant damage, uh, at least more damage. Um, under burn, for example, it's 52k versus 50.5. So it's only 1.5k per higher damage when the burn is up and she's just hitting normally, which is probably the asterisk. If there is a team you put together that includes a burn champion so that you can guarantee 100% burn up time, then her exclusive at max is going to be better. So what does that mean? It means 90% of you, probably 99% of you, do not waste your time with her exclusive artifact. It's not going to give you enough damage. It's not going to sustain enough. And you're not going to have that exclusive artifact a high enough level for it really to help. But don't get rid of the exclusive artifact either. You never know what artifact you're going to get. You never know in what levels. I have a, I have a Twin Fiend as my second A5 champion. He is a legendary lord, and yet he's my second A5. Should that happen? Mathematically, that is ridiculous. But the reality is, that's where it is. That's where my account is. For example, you could do that. You could burn 100 uh, artifacts and 100 exclusive artifacts, and you could have hers at level 6 before you get anyone at level 2. That's just the reality of RNG. So keep it. Build it out. Once it gets max, then you have... An opportunity to do some other things with for example micah who's a essentially a free champion that you can eventually fuse on your account you can max her out you can speed her up i had a little overtuned you only need her at like 1.25 seconds 
uh, say 1.24 seconds to be to be perfect, and you can have 100% uptime on burn, which is going to give you 100% uptime on the uh, exclusive artifacts effectiveness for Zillatu. So there is scenarios, there's few where the Blaze of Telkiel will actually better be better for you. Again, so situational. And the reality is it's nice that you can slowly build this up over time. And then there's certain times you might be able to use it to min max. The reality is even if you had that scenario, a maxed out blaze of Telkiel available for her paired with a hundred percent uptime of the HP burn, HP burn, burn. You can tell where I'm, what other game I play uh, with the hundred percent uptime of burn. It's only 1.5k on a 50k hit. It is a very small number. Three was that a three percent increase is not considerable. Um, that's going to change in scenarios where she's not that full extension, uh, where she isn't getting the full bonus of the realm tier versus this. So just take that with a grain of salt. But the reality is, I think that the effort is the juice is not worth the squeeze. I think you're just better off until you have that perfect scenario. Don't go looking for it. Don't look for exclusive. Just work on your realm tier. Get her a realm tier. Get that realm tier to level six. And that's what you should be using on her for 99% of the con uh, content. With cases where she might be in a little bit closer combat that you can switch over to the Wailing Skull and get some really good value out of that as well. But it, it seems to me like your best bet in so many different scenarios is just forget her, her exclusive because it's not good enough and it's also broken that it's not extending that burn by three seconds like the like the thing says right here inflicted by the hero by three seconds it's not happening it doesn't work it's not happening we proved it uh, so just keep that in mind as well those are my thoughts that's all i have for you this was long-winded i did a lot of talking hopefully this was useful to you and as always let me know in the comments down below what other exclusive artifacts do you have questions and you want me to test for you in the same manner? And uh, most importantly, please be kind, be safe. And we'll see you in the next video.